Hello, GED students. It is GED question of the day time. And um, I'm liking this particular problem. Oh my gosh, I'm getting blown up here. Sorry. Woo. <laughs> I'm liking this particular problem because um, we're hitting with this concept more than one test at a time. So this uh, problem is from a branch of math called known as data analysis. And you could see data analysis in your math test, but you could also see it on your science test or your social studies test um, because data analysis is the branch of math that science and social scientists and social scientists use to come to conclusions. Um, so let's take a look at this problem. It says researchers wanted to look at the effects of aging on reflexes. Patients of various ages underwent a series of reflex tests. The scatter plot below shows the results of the knee jerk reflex. The patient's age is plotted on the horizontal axis. So I have age, oh, I need a marker. There we go. So I have age plotted down here on the horizontal axis. And their reflex time in milliseconds is plotted on the vertical axis. So y'all will have to forgive me if you're actually like scientists and you know about reflex time and these numbers don't make sense because um, I did my very best to come up with some <laughs> with some um, variables that would make sense for this graph. Okay, but it says which of the following best describes the correlation between age and reflex time? Best describes the correlation. So remember that correlation is a relationship between the two variables and a scatter plot, which is what we've been given here, this is called a scatter plot, is a great way to look for correlation. Basically, you have correlation if you can draw a line of best fit on the graph. Now, there's an interesting thing about this graph and that's that these dots are pretty scattered, they're pretty loose. And in fact, the few students who did try to do this on Facebook were debating whether it had a positive correlation or no correlation because it kind of seems like I could draw a line of best fit up through the middle of these dots. Like they are going in a general upwards pattern. However, it's really loose. There's a lot of outliers. Um, and so that's exactly why I designed this problem this way. It looks like there might be some positive correlation, but it's pretty loose. And so I think the best description um, for this particular graph is that it has a weak positive correlation. So the reason why I say it's weak is because the, the points aren't all tight, tight, close to the line. Um, yeah, let me put not. Not close to the line. They're not close together. If um, like a strong positive correlation would be a, a kind of like more obvious line. You know, for it to be strong, those points are like tight, close together. But since these are kind of loose and more scattered, that's what makes me say weak. And then I say positive because if I read the, this line of best fit from left to right, as you want to read a graph from left to right, it appears to go up. Since it's moving up, I call it positive. So I'd say that's probably a weak positive correlation. Now, you know, some of y'all might want to argue with me. It's so weak, there's probably no correlation. We could fight over that. And I actually, without doing some math, I can't actually... Um, come to a conclusive answer on that. But I'm going to go ahead and say um, they were close enough together that I could see a trend of going upward. So I'm going to call this a weak positive correlation. But that's no um, slight on you guys who argued that it was no correlation. It's a, it's, we're walking a pretty um, close line here with that. So anyway, if you have any questions about this, um, be sure to ask me. I'd love to answer. Um, Again, I think you'd probably most likely see this on the science test, so this is great preparation for the science test. Um, yeah, take a look next time I'm going to, um, next question of the day that I have of this nature, uh, we'll see one with no correlation. So um, stay tuned for that if you want to see more of what that would look like.